Spikey here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 2000 into a Proxmox virtual machine. Let's go! A quick note. You can follow all steps in this video tutorial at my GitHub page. In this tutorial I will download a Windows 2000 zip file from the following location into my Assets folder because we first need to extract the 7-zip file. I have prepared a small Docker container which has 7-zip installed inside, so I don't need to install another tool. Just run the extract script in the Assets folder of this video. If this doesn't work for you because my system is set up differently, on which later, you can always use the following online tool to extract the file, or of course, any other method. Of course. But now, first, we are going to log in into our Proxmox dashboard we've installed in the video shown in the upper right corner. Next, we have to provide Proxmox with the Windows 2000 ISO file. Navigate to a machine and choose ISO images in the menu. We are going to upload the extracted ISO file as shown in the video. Second, we are going to create a new virtual machine. Give it a name. Select your uploaded ISO file. Be sure to select Microsoft Windows as your guest operating system. Also, choose 2000 as your version. Enable the Chemu agent for this machine. Next, give your machine at least 64 megs of disk space. Next, give your machine a little more CPU power. Next, I'm going to give Windows 2004 megs of memory. Finally, click Finish. Start your virtual machine. Press Enter to install Windows now. F8 for I agree. C for create partition. Enter for create. Enter for install. Enter for format NTFS file system. Wait. Enter to reboot. Wait until the Windows 2000 wizard provides you with some options. Wait. Please. Click on the Customize button in the Keyboard Layout section. Provide your name. Provide your computer name. Provide your password. Select your time zone. Choose Typical Setting. Choose Workgroup. Please. Wait.
click Finish to reboot. Click next to start the wizard. Set the default user. Click finish. Wait until we have a liftoff and log in into your newly installed Windows 2000. Change your screen resolution to the biggest value possible. Apply those changes. Now we are going to add this machine to our network. Click Start. Settings. Control Panel. Select Network and dial up Connections. Right-click your connection and choose Properties. Go to the properties of your internet protocol. In this tutorial we will use the following values. Close this screen. You should be able to connect to the internet now. Select connect through LAN. Next. Next. So you don't have to create a mail account, but you can. Click Finish, and let's see. That's it. Thanks for watching. Spikey out.